Hey everyone, it's time for your animal facts video. Today I have a really, really cool amphibian with me. It's uh, known as the Mormoria frog, uh, which isn't a very cool name. It has to do with the, uh, the scientific name of it. But the reason I brought it out is because of the common name that we like to use with this frog. Uh, it's one of the funnier names you'll ever find on an animal here in the store or in a zoo or pet trade in general. Uh, but what I have for you is also affectionately known as the bird poop frog. So the reason, <laughs> the reason he's called a bird poop frog or sometimes even called a marbled frog is the colorization on his back is actually meant to mimic bird poop. Uh, this is so that he can blend into trees and plants and not have to worry about predators coming to pick him off. So predators for lava amphibians are usually things like birds or small mammals, sometimes even larger amphibians. So the better your camouflage is, the less likely you are to end up being eaten by another animal. So bird poop frogs have, again, kind of bird poop coloring all around them. They'll just hide on a branch, kind of tuck their legs in, tuck their head down, they just look like a clump of poop. Now, every once in a while, if they feel like they're being threatened and an animal's noticed them, they'll stretch out their legs a little bit. I can see if I get them to do it. But you can see that there's these flashes of yellow on the undersides of his uh, legs. Come here, buddy. I want everybody to see your bright colors. Don't bug in you too much. So, you can see there's some bright colors there. And this is kind of normal for um, a lot of the families of, of tree frogs. Um, when we look at gray tree frogs here in Michigan or even green tree frogs as you go further south, a lot of them will have those brightly uh, colored yellow legs to help deter predators if they fear that they're in danger. Now, this is basically a full grown bird poop frog, so kind of small for a lot of tree frogs, but he has a pretty big appetite as most frogs do. Uh, so he's gonna eat various types of insects that he can find. Usually, we look at the distance between a frog or a toad's eyes, that kind of, can kind of tell us how big a food he can handle but their mulls do open up wider than that, so a lot of times they'll eat some larger pieces of food. So these guys, again, are native to South America, which is how they got the name South American Bird Poop Frog. Um, so they're found all throughout the northern and central parts of South America, a really, really wide range. Um, they tend to live near bodies of water, and they can be found really high up in trees. Uh, most tree frogs you're not going to find on the ground very often unless there's a water pool, because that's where they like to lay eggs. But for the most part, like a frog like this is going to be somewhere around 20 meters up in the air, sometimes up to a thousand meters up in the air. So they have really big eyes. This helps them with hunting, as you can kind of see. It's hard for it to focus in on him, but he's looking right at the camera. Those big eyes help him detect all kinds of movement. He's got really big toe pads. The toe pads will help him stick to stuff, which is why we can do things like this. And he can easily climb on me. You can kind of see the toe pads there and how they just stick to my skin. And then he just tries to find a comfortable spot. That way he knows that nothing's gonna hurt him. So I hope you guys learned something cool today about a really funny named frog. Um, amphibians are some of my favorite stuff, favorite animals, I should say, not stuff, um, but especially tree frogs. Um, sometimes you'll get asked the difference, like what's the difference between a frog and a toad? Typically, um, frogs are going to spend more time near water. Toads like a little bit drier, depending on the species. Uh, frogs typically have very smooth skin. Toads will usually have bumpy skin. Um, and then one of the biggest differences I noticed that I think is funny, and it's kind of hard to see on this guy, is that frogs always look like they, they're smiling and toads always look like they're frumpy and grumpy. So you look at him right now and he looks like he has a little smirk on his face. It's really hard to see because his colorization blends in with everything. But frogs like to smile, toads like to frown. So cool. I hope you guys learned something fun. I always learn something new every time I do these videos for you guys. Majority of the time when I take an animal out, I know a fair amount about them. But to be on the safe side, I always look up some extra info so I have some fun facts. So I'm glad we all can learn something.